Welcome to Viking Tools for Revit. In this video, we'll look at a sprinkler symbol manager. This small sample project layout has several different sprinklers placed. The pendant sprinklers used are different models but have the same default annotation symbol that we need to modify for our shop drawings. We need to be able to distinguish between the different sprinklers by applying a different symbol for each part number. When we first start the Symbol Manager, the first dialog we see shows all of the sprinklers in the project and the annotation symbols associated with each insertion. In this case, we have standard Viking Supply default symbols and one custom user defined symbol associated with each type. Notice the connection type is unconnected at this time as there is no piping system created yet. This is just the initial sprinkler layout. Select the bottom item, the 10 pendant sprinkler summary, and review the options for this model so that we can change the annotation symbol for just those sprinklers. There are a variety of symbol options provided as a default, and they are based upon the NFPA 170 suggested symbol guideline. Of course, you can create and add your own custom symbol library and use those if you choose. We have another short video that covers creating your own custom symbol library. Go through the list and find a pendant on a drop. The first sprinkler in the already already has a custom symbol associated with it. Select Apply to Revit and look at the adjusted annotation symbols. Notice the pendants in the large room have been modified and the concealed sprinklers are untouched. In room 3, the user customized symbols have been applied. Notice that care must be taken when creating your own custom library to make sure that they show up the way you want in your model. In this case, uh, there was a temperature uh, assigned to it, but it did not properly read it out of the inserted model. Be very careful when you're creating these, both for uh, annotations that you wish to include, such as a temperature, a finish, and also the scale factor when, when you're working with these uh, custom symbols. We now want to modify the upright sprinklers to show a sprigged head symbol. Return to the Symbol Manager, locate the desired symbol, and notice there are several options for upright sprinkler connections per the NFPA 170 standard. Select the one you wish to use and apply to your project. In this case, we selected a, a symbol that needs also needs orientation. You can adjust the orientation of the symbol as needed, just using standard edit, uh, Revit editing commands. You control the symbols to use and the orientation if need be. Now let's look at another issue that Revit does not handle well at all out of the box. I'm going to rotate this pendant sprinkler. This might occur if you had a sloped ceiling. First thing I'll do is cut a section view so that I can see the symbol and set the uh, rotation and I'm going to rotate this sprinkler 10 degrees. Return to the plan view and the annotation symbol disappears. This is because Revit does not allow default annotation symbols to be used on a sloped 3D object, and they do not appear in the plan view by default. The Viking Symbol Manager handles this situation with ease. Return to the Symbol Manager and notice that in the connection column that the sprinkler is noted as angled. 
This is an extended cover sprinkler, so we're going to select a matching pendant on a drop, EC, for the extended coverage symbol. Select Insert and Update, and then Apply to Revit, and the selected annotation symbol is applied. The next step is we can create a sprinkler head legend to use in our project. Here we'll create a new sheet, add the plan to the sheet, and drag the newly created head legend into that sheet. Once the head legend is brought into the sheet, you can adjust the uh, size of the different uh, tabs, the different columns, uh, to uh, look the way you want the finished product to look. So make the modification to the legends as desired, and your sheet is ready to review and do further mod modifications as needed. This has been a brief overview of the Viking Tools for Revit Sprinkler Symbol Manager. Thanks for watching.